Hi, I'm Sarah Bamwell, Digital Editor of Pensions Insight magazine, and I'm here with the Pensions Awareness Day campaign in Birmingham. So it's the second day of the campaign, and I wanted to find out from you guys, how do you feel like it's going compared to last year? So this year is bigger and better. So we went to Scottish Widow's head office, um, we had the widow on board, so all we had all that exciting stuff going on yesterday. And you know what, the weather was better. And because the weather was better, more people came out, more questions, more engagement, and there's more people from Pension Wise and Pension Geeks, so really just bigger and better this year. I, I totally agree. Um, from the day one, it's been crazy. The first day we probably had more people that had the full week. And then today, here in Birmingham, one of the hottest days, um, it's great, it's fantastic. And so what have been some of the biggest questions you've been asked um, in the day so far? So what have been the top questions people have wanted to know about? So there's been a lot of questions about how do I trace my lost pension? So people have got pensions, they're just not quite sure how they get access to where they were. So we've been pointing towards some tracing services, we've been pointing towards a new TPAS tool. So that's one of the top ones. State pension, loads of queries about state pension. When do I get it? How much is it going to be? How do I get it? So all of those kind of things and quite a few other occupational group pension -y type questions like why am I not in a pension scheme? I work for an employer, why am I not in? And these ones are quite easy, it's generally because they work for a small employer. My favourite one is people that have opted out, they're not sure why they've opted out and you help them to opt back in again. That, that's probably my favourite thing, that's really an example of us doing good. Mm -hmm.